Hey everybody! Welcome to the tutorial on Color Troll. Color Troll is a little game that I like to play. It is pretty funny because it trolls with your mind. You tap on the color of the color of the word in the middle of the screen. I'll show you my version here. This is uh, Color Troll. You look at the middle color and you touch the word that spells that specific color. All right, my high score right now is 200. So let's tap and start it. So the middle color is orange, so I have to tap on the word orange. The middle color is blue, so I tap on the word blue. The middle color is yellow, so I tap on the word yellow. Oh, I got it wrong, I didn't. And there's a timer, notice I have lives, my score is up there. The middle color is blue, tap on the word blue. Come on, oh, okay, let's try it again. One, two, three, go. All right, so the middle color is green, so I'm going to tap on the word green. Middle color is orange, so I'm going to tap on the word orange. Ah, <laughs> not we're good at this. Boom, red, it's red, it's red. Blue, it's actually red. <laughs> all right, so you can see how trippy this is. It really messes with you, and it's a lot of fun. All right, so you can see all the uniquenesses that, I, uh, that I've set up with this particular app. So let's switch over to our other app here. All right, so some first things first. Let's get the, the words set up. Let's play, you know, I have a splash screen. I have an intro screen. I have a game over screen. There's so many different facets to this game that I have put into it. And we're only going to really work on the play part of it, where you've got the words set up on the screen, and we're going to be setting up random words and random colors and all that kind of stuff, okay? So first, let's call, we have this setup function, just like normal. All right, this is my generic setup function with all the different widths and then all the different colors down there that will be handy for us. The green, the dark green, the light green, the dark yellow, light yellow, and all that kind of stuff. Those are just generic ones that I have set up. And if you want that, you can look in the description there. So first things first, we need to call up our setup initialized function there. And this will allow us to change our background to whatever color we want. Okay, so right now it's not going to like that because I haven't refreshed it. Boom, there it is, okay. And let's not change it to white, let's do black. It's much easier to see the different colors and stuff when we put our um, deal as black. So first thing we wanna do is we wanna set up the words on the screen, okay? So let's get them in the particular order or where about we want it, okay? So let's just do this, let's fill, let's do, actually let's change our font size to, oh, I don't know, let's see if 10% of the width is gonna be good. And our color, we're gonna fill, let's just do red for right now, okay? We'll get all this set up. We wanna do the basics of just the layout of where our words are going to go. So we're gonna do the text and let's just put the word red right in the middle because we do know that one of them is going to go in the middle, right? There it is, red. Uh, let's also change our font. I like the, um, let's do the Arial. Let me, let me find out how to exactly spell this. Give me just a second. Yeah, it's Arial, and it's got to be in quotes, Arial, bold, MT, boom. It's going to make it a little bit thicker. I like that a lot better, okay? So you can change it whatever font you want, but if you tap it in Codia, it actually will give you a list of different fonts you can do. So now we want to, let's fill it with a different color. Let's just say orange. And let's put this one on the top right. So the top right is going to be... Oh, oh, I want to fill it with the word orange, not in quotes. All right, and the next one is going to be the word orange. And we're going to put it in the top right. And that will be, what, about 80% of the width and, oh, about 85% of the height. So let's try that and see. Okay, that's good. Um, but the font size is a little too big. So let's change our font size here. Let's make it about a half that. There we go, cool. And let's shrink that and we'll make it big. Okay, cool. So that way the middle one, you know that that is the specific color that you want. So that, that's gonna work out well. And now let's do the same thing. We're gonna fill the top left one with yellow. And let's, I'm gonna start copying and paste these and see if that saves me some time here. And we're gonna put the word yellow. And we, the width is, the height's gonna be the same, but the width, let's do 20%, let's see if that works. That does work, awesome, okay. And so now let's actually copy these whole lines. And we're gonna do this a couple more times. 
And this one is going to be, let's do red, orange, yellow, and let's do green. And let's do the bottom one to be blue. Okay. And this is going to spell the word green. And this one is going to spell the word blue. So refresh there. And now notice they're all on top of each other, and that's just because we've changed the heights of them. And let's put this at a height of 10. And let's put this one at a height of 10 and width, uh, what was the other one, 80? Boom. Okay. So we've got them all set up there. Let's refresh. There they are. Okay. There are all of our words. And that looks good. All right. So this is the basic layout. We've put them all in the corners and then the one in the center. And the one in the center is the color that you want to see. I'm not talking about the word. I'm talking about the actual color that the word is. Okay. So for example, if the middle word is actually green, you would tap on the bottom left word, even though it might uh, be blue. Does that make sense? So the middle word is the color green. Well, then you have to tap on the word that spells green. So it would be the bottom left, okay? Really messes with you. You gotta think very clearly as you're going through this, all right? Now, one thing that, I, instead of having it print out like this every single time, um, what I wanted to do is I want to make it so that they're random. And the way this is going to work is we're going to actually, gonna, we're going to create an array up here, and we're going to call it colors. And this array is going to be a list of all of our different colors that we're going to have on the screen here. Okay, we only are going to have five. And then we're going to create another array there's actually going to have the words that we're going to put in it. And you'll see here in just a second why this is important. All right, so we, let's make sure we did this correctly. Colors, red, orange, yellow, green, blue. Word, red, orange, yellow, green, blue. Awesome. So now instead of putting the word red there, we can just say word and we'll put one. We have to refresh it, boom, there it is. Whereas if I change this to two, it's gonna change that word to orange. I change it to three, it's gonna change it to yellow, four is green, and five is blue. Does that make sense? That's very, very handy uh, when it comes time to start printing things out because we're gonna end up changing the order here, okay? And so we'll do this to every single one of these. And like I said, this is going to make it easier in the long run when we will change the order. Because every single round, the colors are going to be all moved around. They're going to be randomly, and they're going to be different. Same thing with here. So if I change this to colors and one. doesn't like that it's color. There we go. All right, And so then I'm going to copy and paste this. Put it there, and there, and there, and now we will organize it, make it rain, pretty rainbow like it was before. Is that gonna be right? This will be three, this will be four, and this will be five. Okay, cool, so it's all in the respective order there. Um, one thing that's really, really nice, uh, if you don't wanna see that bar on the left side there, what I'd recommend doing is coming over to the top here and writing in the words display mode and we put in the word full screen. So now when we hit refresh, it will automatically go full screen. The parameters, the output is not there unless you hit that top left arrow. That makes it really, really easy. The other thing we want to do is the supported orientation. And I'm going to make it so that it's any sort of landscape and it is any landscape there. So if I move or rotate my device, it will stay in the landscape. It might flip all the way around, but it will always be in the landscape position. We also are going to put hide keyboard uh, because we don't need the keyboard at all in this game, okay? So those are just little helpful tips to put at the top there of any of your apps specifically, all right? So we've created, now let's just remind ourselves where we were at. We've created this, um, the colors here and we've created the words. Now, we want to create a random color array that will be shuffled, 
Okay, and we want to do the same thing. We want to also create a random word array that will be shuffled. And by shuffling, I mean you're taking the array and you're moving things around. All right, and we're going to set, and I'm going to do both of these here. All right, and this one's going to be called random colors. And this one is going to be called random words. And this one, I need to put an S on all of these just so it's consistent here. Because it really is, it's not just one word, it's the array of words. Okay, so now what's going to happen, and we're going to write a function here in just a second that's going to shuffle all of these. So that way, uh, it is different every single time. So this is our base template, this is the colors in order. Okay, this, these ones will never change. And we will need this in the future because we want to compare it uh, when we're trying to touch the screen. So now what we've got is we have our specific colors. We're gonna shuffle the random colors and the random words. So now what's going to happen is let's start working with shuffling the colors and shuffling the words here. And this is how we do it. This is an interesting technique. I found this online um, on the Codea forums. They're very, very helpful. Um, cool Codea is also another, it's a WordPress blog um, that is very, very helpful. So a lot of props go out to this dude who's doing these great tutorials there. So check some things out there if you need to. Um, one thing I'm gonna do is create a variable called store. And what this does is it allows us to store the words once. All right, so when the words have been shuffled and stored, it will change and move to a store state of one and it will no longer, sh no longer shuffle them, okay? So this allows us to say, hey, if store does not equal one, then we're gonna shuffle in the words there. We're gonna shuffle the words and so this allows us to come in here and say, okay, let's shuffle it. And what this does is it cycles through and it switches up all of the different words in there. And this is how we do it. We say for i equals the number of random words, so how many ever there are, down to one and minus one. Now we've not seen this before and let me tell you how, what, what happens here. This hashtag or number sign counts the number of random words. So in here, the number of random words is one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so it's going to start at five, it's going to go to one, and it's going to count down by negative one. So it's going to go from five, four, three, two, one. That's actually how you count down with for loops. If you uh, wanted to count up, you would obviously do one to five, and that's it. Uh, but to count down, you do five to one with negative one. And now we're going to create a random number, and we are going to set it uh, from i. It's going to pick a random number, and so i is, the first time it's going to be 5, so it's going to pick a random value in here from the first one, from here, from random color. It's going to pick a random i. So if it's 5, it's going to pick a number from 1 to 5. And then what it's going to do is it's going to switch these two things around. So we're going to go to random words, j, and we're going to go to random words, i, and we're going to flip-flop them, okay? And we're going to random words, I, and it's going to switch it with random words, J. Let me uh, zoom out here. There we go. So random words, J, and random words, I, you're going to flip flop their positions, okay? And it's going to continually do that until it cycles through all of them, all right? And we want to do this same thing for colors as well. So let's just copy and paste it. All right. And now we want to do the amount of colors there are. So this is going to be colors. So anytime where you see words, you're going to change that to colors. And if you don't understand the mechanics of it, that's, that's really okay. It's, it's not that big a deal that you understand how the shuffling process works. You just need to know that it is shuffling, okay? In the end, it will shuffle all of the different words there. And I'm gonna change, I don't think this will make a difference, but I'm gonna change this to K, and I'm gonna change this to L, all right? And now we need to change this to K, 
and this to L. And this is just to keep my variables separate and unique. Does that make sense? I'll put this one to K. Uh, so zoom out just a little bit and put that one to L as well. Okay, so it's going to go through both of these. And the first one shuffles the random words and the second one shuffles the random colors. Once it's done with all of that, we're going to make store equal to one. And that stops our process. This stops the shuffling. Because if I didn't do that, it would continually go through there and shuffle it over and over again, right? Every time it would draw it, it would shuffle, draw, shuffle, 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 and it just looks ugly And when that happens, okay? We don't, we don't want that to happen. So that does it. Now, let's come down here, and instead of this, we're going to put random colors, and let's... Let's see, we'll copy, and we're just going to copy this over again. All right, so we have put random colors in each of those, the drawing. When I hit the refresh, all of the colors are going to change. Over and over again. I'm just keeping refresh there, and they're changing because they're shuffling every single time. Now, if we come down here to random words, and we change these all to random words. Now the actual words will change. How cool is that? Right, <laughs> shuffling them all the time, over and over and over again. All right, that's pretty cool. That's really, really helpful. That shuffling just simplifies our life a whole bunch. Rather than having to go through and check and maybe put a random color in each time and then check and see if it was a different color from the previous one, it, it, it's just a nightmare. I tried to do that the first time and then I thought, oh, well, what if we just shuffle them around? This will be really, really helpful, kind of like shuffling a deck of cards. Every time we hit refresh, we get a new color and a new word, and everything is different, and everything is random, and none of them are the same. So it works out really, really well. Okay, so those are the basic things you want to do to set up your game here for the color troll. This will be the end of the first tutorial as you get all that going. Uh, next tutorial will cover the touch and getting up a score system and all that kind of stuff. So thanks for joining us. I'm glad you're able to check out the color troll tutorials and we'll see you next time.